are an embodied reflection of Source. You are thus infinitely empowered, abundant, and a co-creator with your context always. You are an alchemist. Divination works because the web of life is intelligently organized with coordinated and storied agency. Let's take a look at the stories playing out now. Hi everyone, welcome to your November 2016 Alchemy Scope. So as you know, I work with the new moon cycles and this new moon, the symbol everybody is amazing so relevant, poignant, completely on point for what a lot of us are going to need as these energies have been so intense lately. So let's take a look. Now, for, when we talk about the new moon symbol, we're looking at the story that is imbued for all of us. So on the collective macro cycle level for all of humanity, what is the growth cycle now? The new moon Sabian symbol that's going to be occurring on the 30th of October at 1038 a.m. Pacific time is a calm lake bathed in moonlight. Amazing. And look at where it's happening in Scorpio. The degree is 7 degrees 44 minutes. So before we look at the symbol, let's look at the point where the symbol is located. This new moon at this 7 degree 44 minute point is amazing. Because if we look at the number 7, this is the chariot in the tarot. And the original meaning of the tarot was a human evolutionary school. It was a teaching system for our growth and evolution. 7 was the mastery of the mind. It is the mastery of the mind. It's the completion state of the mind, body, spirit tier. So this is mastery of the mind. If we look at 44, 4 is stability and support. It is an angel number. 44 is associated with the archangels. 4 and 4 together is 8. 8 is infinity. It's source. So this is about mastery of the mind through source. And of course, seven is also the mysteries. Seven is also magic. Seven is also investigation. All of this is completely relevant for a calm lake bathed in moonlight. The keynote that Dane Rudyard has for this particular symbol is a quiet openness to higher inspiration. And he says, it tells us that beyond all efforts lays the need for peace and the readiness to accept the illumination from above. Everybody, this is a time frame over the course of November 2016 where we are supported. We're supported if we open up. We're supported by spirit to calm our mind to be in peace with the shifts and the changes going on. There is support, but we're going to need to open to it because it is infused in the story on the collective during this month. So let's go ahead and move on now to the individual signs and see what the specifics are for your particular demographic. Capricorn. So let's take a look and see what's happening for you over the course of this cycle. I pulled the I Ching to take a look at the underpinning storyline for Capricorn. What is Capricorn's microcycle? What's the underpinning narrative that's unfolding? You received two hexagrams. The first, number 24, returning, and it came with changing lines, and it became number 51, shock. So the combined message here for you is your underpinning evolutionary narrative. What is this referring to? 24, returning, is talking about returning to a time of lightness and movement and growth from a time of darkness or haltedness, you know, something that um, was more internal and stalled. So returning is moving more back toward the light, okay? With regards to 51 shock, 
this has to do with something jarring, something surprising that occurs. But because it's connected to number 24 returning, I do think that this shock that you're going to receive this month is going to be a beneficial shock. It's going to feel good. Typically, 51 shock refers to the um, jarring that any shock gives us, any news that is unexpected or any visitation that's unexpected offers us. And that in itself can be jarring. It can be uncomfortable. But sometimes the shock feels good and sometimes the shock doesn't feel so good. Sometimes it's more like the tower. Because your shock is coming with returning, what I think for you is that you're returning to a lighter phase and there's some good news that's going to either catalyze that returning or it's going to exacerbate it. So let's take a look at your reading. So when I pull the spread, we pull what event, circumstance, or situation is likely to unfold for your growth and evolution this month. In the center of the spread, you can see family, work, and reflection. That's the center message here. That's the central point of focus. And what that's talking about is now... This is not going to apply as I'm saying it to all of you out there. But for some of you out there, you work with family or you, and by the way, the family card doesn't have to be blood family. It could be a tribe, but there's, you're going to be seeing somebody uh, at your workplace or you're going to start working with somebody from your family in your workplace. And again, maybe it's not blood family, maybe it's your tribe. But reflection is saying you're going to be seeing somebody that is like family to you, that is now going to be either in your workplace or you're going to be partnering with them, something like that. So that's the main theme, okay? With regards to the spiritual sector, over on the right side, you can see the connection card and the remember card. And this is talking about being reminded about a deep connection, being reminded about a connection that you have. Now, again, because family and reflections coming up in the center, um, I do think that the shock that came up, the returning shock could be somebody returning to you that's going to be unexpected, okay? Um, and this could feel good because, again, returning is the returning of the light from the darkness. So, and you are going to be remembering a connection here. Down at the base of the spread on the physical 3D level, this is about something that you've been wanting or something that you've been hoping for, desiring. It could be somebody that you've been wishing would come back into your life actually does come back into your life. Over on the left side, you can see project, celebration, transformation. Capricorn, I have to say this is quite something because emotionally, Whatever this thing is, whether it is a project, like a creative project, a work project, a business project, or something else, just something with regards to the event where you two reconnect, there is going to be celebration and there is going to be transformation. So this could be a childhood friend that you used to know, that your families used to know each other growing up. You know, it could, again, be an extended family beyond blood. Up at the top, you're thinking about what is your right path, but you're thinking about, wow, this is the right path. So your thoughts are oriented toward what is the optimal path for your, to match your desires, okay? So Capricorn, this is, I think, quite fascinating for you. Now, interestingly, the Dakini, the guidance, who you are to become and embody this month is number 61, Crone Lamo. Now... Crone Lamo is the grandmother. She is the Dakini. She is the goddess that is the archetype of the grandmother. She's also the witch and the hag. She's the crone. Crone Lamo is an initiation. And there, there's no accident why you received Crone Lamo, so you meet the grandmother, so you meet an initiation. So you meet a challenge, essentially, is what it is. And you received returning shock in your I Ching. So there is depth required because the thing with Crone Lamo, Capricorn, is it is a time, November will be a time, 
where you are asked to go through a rite of passage. You're asked to go through an initiation. And because she does represent the grandmother and because the family reflection theme is coming up in your spread and you're remembering an old connection, for some of you out there, this is going to have to do with an elderly female in your family. Not everybody, but for some of you, it is. So there could be something unexpected with a grandmother figure for some of you that's coming up. But if it's not a grandmother, you, again, the reminder here is you are to become grandmother. You are to become Crone Lamo. And it does indeed indicate that you are to become her in order to meet a rite of passage because that's what she represents. So there is some shock. There's something unexpected that occurs this month for a large portion of you that is going to have to do with family. It is going to be tied to your work. It is going to require you to go deep. It is an initiation. Fascinating. I'm going to be interested to hear from some of you to see uh, how this lands for you and what ends up happening by the end of the October cycle, or excuse me, the November 2016 cycle. For those of you that wish a more uh, directed uh, alchemy scope for you, a video that I create for clients, you can check on my website, which actually, as I'm recording this, is currently down. I'm doing some transformations with the, with the uh, website. So, uh, but by the time you hear this, it should be up. And the link for that is below this video. In the meantime, until next month, I'm sending you so much love for your growth and expansion during your cycle. Talk to you soon. Bye.